One day, Sammy was out in his van, making his deliveries of fresh fruit and vegetables. Good day, all. Morning, Sammy. I've got your groceries in the kitchen. Yes, please. Thanks, Sammy. Everyone looked forward to a visit from Sammy because he was always so cheery and friendly. Good day there, Archie. Oh, thanks, Sammy. No trouble at all. Bye. On the way home, Sammy decided to take a little shortcut across the outback. Hmm, haven't been this way before. <laughs> it was a bumpy ride. But that was what Sammy liked about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Frank and Buster were getting ready to go out on their daily patrol. Stand by. Standing, Standing by. by. Chocks away, Buster. Chocks away, Frank. Get the gate, Ned. I'm getting the gate, Frank. Buckle up, Buster. Buckle down. Track. Sammy had always wanted to ride on a train. He wondered what a train track was doing in the outback. Oh. It's the Koala Brothers. Frank and Buster flew over the outback every day on the lookout for anyone who might need their help. There's Sammy. He's waving us down. We're here to help. Hello, Sammy. What's up? Look what I found. An old train track. I heard that someone tried to build a train track here a long time ago. Mm, I've always wanted to ride on a train. Buster, what are you doing? I'm listening to hear if a train is coming. They make the ground rumble. <gasps> is there a train coming? Mm, no. An ant crawled into me ear. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, little ant. Oh, wouldn't it be great if a train did come to town? <gasps> Look! The tracks aren't finished. I don't think a train will come if the tracks aren't finished. Oh, now I'll never get to ride on a train. Don't worry, Sammy. We can help. Look! Oh. We'll finish the tracks and then maybe a train will come. And, and can I go for a ride? Of course you can. Let's get our tools from the plane. Oh, I've got some in my truck. So the Koala Brothers helped Sammy finish making the track. with that. Oh, sorry. What? It was hard work. And noisy too.
<laughs> they soon got into a rhythm. Finally, the tracks came all the way to town, ready for the trains to come. Hooray! Hello. What's going on? Look, we found a train track. Frank and Buster are helping me finish building it, so a train will come and I'm going to have a ride. Don't stand too near the train track. Do you see a train, Buster? No. I was just practising. We need to be ready in case a train does come. I agree, and we need something to welcome them. Good idea. How about sandwiches? Oh, yes, yeah, sandwiches. And maybe some little flags, too. So Sammy and his friends all set to work to make the best welcome a train had ever seen. What are you doing? Who are the sandwiches for? We've made a train track so the trains will come and I'm going to have a ride. I'll get the paddles to stop the train. No, I'll do the paddles, Ned, or the train will knock down the whole town. Uh, what time is the train going to come, Sammy? I don't know. We've never had one before. Listen, is it a train? No, it's just a fly. Everyone waited for the train. But it still didn't come. I'm bored. Me too. When's the train coming, Sammy? Maybe the trains don't know that we're here. Of course. We'll have to go and tell them. How are we going to do that? I know. There's something we found that we haven't used yet. Huh? Ready? Goodbye. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Disappeared. Maybe they went into a tunnel. Oh, don't be silly, Ned. There's no tunnels round here. <sighs> no wonder there weren't any trains. <sighs> the other end of the track wasn't finished either. Are you all right? Yes, Mitzi, we're fine. Just a bit of a bump, that's all. <sighs> but Sammy was a bit sad. Now I'll never get to ride on a train. Never mind, Sammy. At least we had a little ride on a track car. Oh, that's true. I never rode in a track car before. What was it like? Was it fun? Can I have a go? Can I? Me too. We are here to help. <laughs> so in the end, Sammy was happy after all. And everyone was glad Sammy and the Koala Brothers had finished the track. Now they can all have a ride on a track car. Whee! <laughs> it was a bit bumpy at the end. <laughs> but that was what they liked about it. One day, Ned the Little Wombat was happily walking along a path and thinking about ice cream when he saw something sparkly in the dust. In the outback, if something sparkles, it's usually worth picking up. Ned had never had a whistle before and he was very pleased to have one now. Before too long, the whistle had given Ned an exciting idea. Policemen have whistles. Maybe he could be a policeman. But there was something missing. Thank you.
A few days later, Ned was expecting something very special in the post. George! George! Hi, George. Have you got anything for me today? Now, uh, let me have a little look-see, Ned. Uh, nope, uh, not that one. Uh, nope, sorry, uh, not today, Ned. Uh, what about that? Oh, yes. <laughs> that is for you. Oh, thank you. Ned couldn't wait to show the Koala Brothers. What's in the box, Ned? Frank and Buster wondered just what Ned was up to with a policeman's hat. I sent away for it. It's not a real one, but it's still very nice. I'm going to be a policeman. A policeman? Well, we don't have a policeman in town, and every town should have a policeman, so I'm going to be the policeman. Oh, OK. Uh, have you got any paper? Uh, and a pencil or something? Uh, yeah, uh, I think so. Here you go. Uh, thanks. What's Ned doing, Frank? What's that? It's a parking ticket. Parking ticket? Huh. But I always park here. Sometimes you park over there. Hi, Ned. Wow, where'd you get the hat? Oh, it looks so good. Is it a real one? Can I get one too? Uh... Are you really being a policeman? Do you have other police things too? We never had a policeman here before. Do you think we need one? I mean, I don't know what a policeman would really do around here. It's usually very quiet and peaceful and... What's this? A speeding ticket. I wasn't speeding. You were. You were talking too fast. Oh? <laughs> Later on in town, Ned was looking for more police work to do. Josie, hold on. Oh, what was that for, Ned? It's cos I'm the new policeman. Oh, you are? Yes. Haven't you noticed the hat? Oh, <laughs> the hat. Oh, yes. That's a very nice hat, Ned. But, but, I need to cross the road. Well, you can, Josie. It's just that you have to let the traffic go the other way first. Josie, it's safe to cross now. Oh, Ned, now look what you've done. Oh, never mind. We don't really need a policeman here, Ned. Being a policeman wasn't as much fun as Ned thought it would be. Back at the homestead, Frank and Buster were parking the plane on the other side of the yard. Oh, look, it's Ned. Look, Ned, we've moved the plane. Ned? Ned? Wait! What's the matter, Ned? Nobody likes me. Oh, that's not true. Yes, it is. Ever since I started being a policeman, nobody likes me. I like you, Ned. What people don't like is being bossed around. I was being a policeman. Well, policemen don't just boss people around, Ned. They protect people and help people too. That's right. Nobody around here needs a bossy policeman. Nobody around here needs a policeman at all. Oh, 
They might need a policeman one day, Ned. You never know. I don't think so. <sighs> Poor Ned. Poor Ned. What can we do to help? Frank and Buster weren't sure how to make Ned feel better. Maybe we could pretend to be burglars and let Ned come catch us. Sorry, Frank. Hello, Alice. Hello. Frank, Buster, you've got to help me. I've lost my whistle. I went to look for it along the road, but I can't find it anywhere. You've lost your whistle? Why don't you go to the police? I didn't know we had any police around here. Come with us! Help! Police! We need a policeman. No, you don't. Do you? That's not a policeman. That's Ned. What seems to be the problem? Well, I lost my whistle. Somewhere over there along the road. And when I went back to look for it, it was gone. What did you say you lost again? My whistle. Oh, right. I see. Well, what does it look like? It was small and shiny and about so big. Oh, is this it? My whistle. I found it by the road. I didn't know it was yours, Alice. Wow, Ned, that was amazing. You must be the best and cleverest policeman ever. Thank you. Bye. Well, if you need any more police help, you know where I am. And so thanks to Frank and Buster, Ned was happy again. And Ned learnt that being a policeman isn't about bossing people around, it's about helping them. If you're in trouble and you need someone to help you out, there's no need to whistle and there's no need to shout. Hey, hey, hey.